open the topology builder of Link Server 2013. Expand shared components. Right click PST and gateways. And choose new IP slash PST and gateway. Input the IP address of NeoGate. Click Next. Keep the default Enable IPv4 and click Next. Define a root trunk for this PSTN. The listening port is 5060. The SIP transport protocol is TCP. Keep the next two items unchanged. Click Finish. Right-click the gateway. In Topology, click Publish. And click Next to proceed. If any error occurs, please check the above steps or reinstall the central SQL server. As the publishing wizard completes, click Finish. Remember to create your account in DC first before adding it to Link Server. Log on the Microsoft Link Server 2013 control panel. In the left navigation bar, click Users. Click Enable User and Add. In the search box, find the user account. In the table, select account you want to add to Link Server and click OK. Next, assign user to pool link.estar.com. For users, zip URL to log in the client software. We recommend using user's email address. In Telephony, choose Enterprise Voice. In Line URL, enter the user's extension number. The format is tail colon followed by a plus and extension number digit. Click Enable to save the configuration. We can use the new account to log in the client to check if the setting is successful. Back to Microsoft Link Server 2013 control panel. Enter voice routing page. Click Dial Plan. Double click Global to edit. Edit the rule of Keep All. The length is any. Add plus in the field digits to add. Click OK. Under Voice Policy, Edit Global. Click Select. 
and choose the local into associated PST and usages. Click OK. Next, edit root. Double click local root. Click edit under match this pattern. In the box, enter the following characters. And click OK. Add the associated trunks. Choose the gateway we just created and click OK. Next, click Select under Associated PST and Usages and choose Local. Click OK. Click PST and Usage and make sure the Roots is Local Root, Policies is Global. Edit the trunk configuration page. Double click global. Under associated PST and usages, click select and choose the associated PST and usage for this trunk. Click Commit and choose Commit All to apply the configuration. Now click Test Voice Routing to see if the configuration is successful. The test result shows passed. The configuration on Link Server 2013 finishes here. In the web interface of NeoGate TE, click Gateway, VoIP Trunk. and add VoIP trunk. The trunk type is Service Provider. Define the trunk name. In hostname slash IP, enter the IP address of link server. the default TCP port 5068. Then click Advanced. In Transport, select TCP. Click Save. TCP is disabled in NeoGate TE by default. We need to enable it. Click Step Settings. And enable TCP port.
click Save and reboot the device. After the device restarts, check the status of the trunk in Trunk Status. The status shows OK. Enter Gateway Configuration page. Click Roots List and add new root. In simple mode, choose No. Define the root name. In the field Call comes in from, choose the service provider trunk that is connected to Link Server. In DID number, enter a plus and a dot. and send call through trunk E1 trunk. In outbound dial pattern, also enter a plus and a dot. And strip one digit. Click Save. Now we use the link client to dial an external number. Create a new route. In simple mode, choose No. Define the route's name. In call comes in from, choose trunk E1 trunk. In DID number, enter X and a dot. In the field of DID associated number, enter the IVR, ring group or queue number of link. In the field, send call through, Select the service provider trunk that is connected to Link Server. In prepend these digits, enter a plus. Click Save. Now we use an external phone to dial the E1 trunk number on NeoGate TE. When the call is connected, follow the IVR to dial the extension number of link server. The extension rings. 